We are putting on, in the month of March, a, a killer 80s prom. It's a murder mystery dinner theater. It's actually uh, my 11th one that I put together, and it's our second one here at the Muse Theater. It's set in the backdrop of a 1987 high school prom uh, where a lot of shenanigans go on, and unfortunately, someone's going to get murdered. <laughs> and it's up to our audience to solve the crime. And, uh, so I found my love for writing in second grade. I've now published uh, three novels. I actually combined them into one long novel recently. And then I also have written uh, several plays, uh, one of which was published and performed at Warner Arms Little Theater last December for Christmas. It was called A Holly Jolly Folly. And uh, so, but the murder mysteries are probably my biggest, uh, biggest baby and I love them so much because it's so much fun to find something new and exciting each time and find a way to make what you did last time do a little bit better than the next time. So Murder with Friends Entertainment was launched in 2014. Uh, we used to do shows for the Museum of Aviation and the Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame. And then we went out on our own and started doing events for other entities. And we found a permanent home here at the Muse Theater and it's just a great experience. We've raised probably $300,000 to date for local nonprofits. Oh, well, I just love a good, uh, <laughs> a good uh, mystery to solve anyway. I, my wife and I love to watch murder TV and so that's a lot of fun. Uh, but really what's neat about them, our murder mysteries is they're very interactive and people can come to our shows and be as much part of the show as we are as actors. The biggest advice for someone who writes plays, don't write one. No, I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> My biggest advice for someone who wants to write a play is to make sure you have a, a, an end goal in mind. It's great to have like an idea, but always have, a, have an idea of what, where you want this story to wrap up. But also, the, most, the, the, people always tell people, the thing I always tell people is, don't be afraid to, to go back on that, on that idea. I had this idea for my Christmas play and it was going to end a certain way and it ended up ending a completely different way than I sought out for it to be. And I'm so glad it, I, I, I trusted my gut and, and went with that, that alternative because it ended up being a, such a, a beautiful bow <laughs> for, for a nice analogy for Christmas. It really had a nice, a, a nice wrapping for the end of the show and I was so proud of it. My actors really gave it their all.